you. Um, did anyone hear the debates last night? Yes. <laughs> okay, we'll get to that in a minute. First, uh, <clears throat> first I wrote a poem for some friends who got married last Sunday. It's uh, about their wedding day. Today, you are blessed with boundless love for one another, and from that love have forged a bond and a vow. In time, you will know all the ways you fit together and all the ways you don't. Today, nothing matters but your hand and hers, the light as you smile into each other's eyes. Hold this fast. Remember it in all the years to come. Wrap it around each other, soft and warm. It's the armor that protects you from dangers that lie ahead. And when they come, know this. Love is eternal, is steadfast, is strong. Love will not fail you, will carry you through the storm. For now, the two of you are one. Now, we're going to get back to the debate. <clears throat> he stumbled to find the word and found it at last, but it was the wrong word. The other, in rebuttal, trotted out his shop-worn lies. In my house, a growing sense of dread blossomed like a cloud of deadly gas. We shook our heads and wondered if this was the way good Germans felt in 1939 when Hitler came to power. Our little dog, who'd spent the day in endless, tedious barking, was silent. I wish there was a bark collar for politicians. <laughs> <laughs> and this is in response to some states who have decided that uh, they can teach the Bible from fifth grade all the way through high school. It's titled Theology in the Classroom. I like the idea of teaching the Bible to fifth graders as long as it's taught alongside Huxley's perennial philosophy. And Genesis is paired with Darwin. For if we teach our kids anything, it should be how to think. There's no freedom without critical thought. My father and I had this discussion many times. I loved him. I knew he loved me too. But we held profoundly different views about reality, about the history of our world, and if God or physics accounted for what happens after death. Finally, we agreed to disagree and kept the peace. There is a way to live that does not call for forcing our beliefs on someone else. I think I read about that somewhere, about treating your neighbor the way you would like him to treat you. I wonder where. Oh, 